Hey, little boy. Hello, everybody out there. So, I hope you guys will like, subscribe, and definitely comment. Any advice, anything you want to tell me, any questions, anything I can help you with, let me know. So, this is Bear and my newfound friend, Ryan. Say hello, Ryan. Hey, everybody. Hey, dudes. <laughs> Okay, so the project today is not working on my property. It's uh, oh, it's actually working on my big black beautiful truck, the Black Beauty, a horse with wheels. Look at this baby. Woo, she's sexy. So I'm welding her up. Uh, I took out my big fifth wheel that was in here before. And what we're doing is straightening all this up because everything was shaking, rattling, and rolling. It was all loose. And even when it was tight, it was still wobbling back and forth, as you can see here. There's hinges, big hinges, so to speak, on there. But hold it on. What I did is I modified this rack. And it was normally supposed to, like these, this guy right here, for example, was supposed to be at the back of the box. And then this guy was supposed to be the very back of the box. So I modified it. I reinforced it. I did this about, I don't know, was it about a year and a half, maybe two years ago? A good friend of mine named Clayton Smith and yeah so ah, so basically as you can see here we've straightened it up I've welded it it's not the prettiest looking thing of course once it's all painted it'll look way nicer so I reinforced all this welded all that to here as you can see so this thing doesn't you know uh, with my hand here rattle and roll right so when I look at it from here it looks nice and straight I mean Use my human eye here. It's pretty square. It's, it's all nice and even. So, anyways, I figured we'd do a little uh, video of this. It's too bad I don't have properly set up here with a a camera holder or a, whatever you want to call it, uh, smartphone holder. So I actually push this back and watch me working away here. So I'm gonna jump up here, show you some more stuff. Oh, this is also another thing I did. Uh, for the camper, you know, they have these little tie downs. These come out, I guess, so they don't get in the way while you're driving. Of course, I don't know. These dummies, when they installed this back in, uh, in British Columbia there, uh, this thing went on an angle downwards like this, which I thought was stupid. So if you can see it there, I've welded it. I cut it and I re-welded it. I reinforced it. Did a few different things to it. So that's what I wanted to show everybody here today. And of course, I reinforced this as well because this was sagging down. So we put an angle bar on there. And later on, because I want to take this box off and put a flat deck on here, I'm going to put a steel post all the way down to the tie down. So that'll literally take the weight off of the whole box. In that way, I can actually take the box off. There you go. Cool. Uh, here, what I don't want to do is I'm going to get. My friend here, the gentleman, <laughs> Mr. Ryan, give the camera around for a second. Uh, so if you come around here, Ryan, you can actually see, right? Look at this. Isn't that an amazing job? This is Ryan's work. Looks sexy. Looks like a silver bullet. <laughs> so that inserts in here for a reinforcement and also as a backing plate to weld onto. Because this, some of this metal, it's, as you could probably see there, eh, you can see it from the end there, how thin it is. So obviously when you weld, it, can, it burns right through, even when you use some of the thinnest wire. And I, I'm actually using a 330 seconds, is that correct? 330 seconds, yeah. Yeah, stick. So yeah, 7018 is what I'm using to weld this puppy up with. So anyway, same thing on the back here. It was off in an angle like this. We wanted to get it all nice and straight. So I'm liking it. So basically that's all I wanted to do for this video. Just a real short one to show you what I'm doing. And as you can see here, you see the difference? Doesn't that look awesome? So just to give you an idea what it used to look like, this was here and onto the, it was bolted onto, um, onto this little guy right here. Problem with that, I don't know why they would do that, but the pro, maybe it's just a, something to grab onto, to hang onto when you pull yourself up. I don't know. Either way, this is obviously stop your wood materials, that long stuff you have on your pipes or whatever you get on here to stop from rolling off. But anyways, the problem was is is when I had a fifth wheel in here, you know, pulling a trailer, the problem was is that when I turned corners, it was actually getting so close to hitting this, which you, obviously there's a limit to how much you can turn, right? 
So anyways, that's one of the reasons I got rid of this and changed it to this. So that looks, I think it looks awesome. Once it's all welded up, it's gonna be just beautiful. That's another reason why I moved this whole rack forward is so I could actually pull a trailer, a fifth wheel, right? And also, if I wanted to, I could put a camper in the back of this thing, right? And I could actually put it over top, you know, we'll just camp it over the overhang, right? Your bed section usually. And at the back here, if you look over here, Ryan, I have a piece of metal that I welded up, like another part of the rack. Um, I'm not gonna get it right now, but next time I'll maybe show it in the other video. I had a rack that goes on here, and what I do is I take it off, and I move it up here, and of course I gotta design a way of putting it on here so it's nice. Yeah, actually that might be a great idea. Figure a way to stack it here so I can take it with me. Put a screw in it. Yeah, yeah. Get so another like, tab for the other side and just egg, tab it and match it up. And, exactly. Yeah. The only thing is, is on this thing here, I'll probably have to cut them off, but I have a plate that sits on here. It actually has a square that goes down in here. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to cut it off because that's the problem I had last time. I brought it over here mm -hmm. and I sat it on there and it was sticking up higher. So that was stupid, right? Mm -hmm. So I figured if I do that, bring it over, sit it on there, maybe I'll make a couple little, I don't know, little plates here or something. Mm -hmm. so it fits in, it sits there. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like you're saying. And then, uh, yeah, you can do like a reverse like this. Just yeah. a peg that sits right on yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Actually, that did not Because then it, it would stop it from rattling once you tighten this up too, right? Yeah, I like that. Huh? Yeah, there you go. So we're planning stuff. You... Yep, cameraman's looking at my... <laughs> Don't look at my reader. <laughs> Nobody's seen her. It's hiding. Anyways, thank you very much, Ryan, for filming there. No my problem. film crew for the day. My first film crew ever. Actually, no, that's not true. I had Alex before. But he would always turn off my video before I was done, before I said goodbye. And I'd go, you idiot. You know what I mean? Like, you, yeah. you're, you're getting the guy to film for you, and then he shuts my... Like, dude, I wasn't even finished talking yet, right? Yeah. Anyways, thank you very much, everybody, for my family and friends out there, and anybody out there that have seen it in my other videos. As you know, I'm advertising to get more people on my property that want to live the off-grid lifestyle, tiny home movement, whatever you're into, you know. And, uh, yeah, so there you go. Take her easy. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. All right, take care, guys. Bye for now. Grab the phone from you. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, Max. Say bye, buddy.